Hi there, this is Nicola and welcome to my channel. If you've just arrived, this is the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on. The channel is Forever Young Autobiographies and I'd love for you to subscribe and like this video. Today we're talking about writing or revising and editing autobiography stories. Now as a writing coach I get lots of questions about how do I write my autobiography, how do I do my memoir or help a loved one write their own biography or autobiography. And I answer these questions and I thought it'd be great if I did a few or featured a few in a new section on this channel and on my website. So this is the first one in the Ask Nicola series. And um, I'm just going to read you out the question that I got from a reader here. So the first one, what things shouldn't I include in a story about my life? What do I leave out of stories? But what, how do I still stay true to my, to my life story? What needs editing and revising? Now, there's some really great questions. And writing an autobiography or a memoir can be completely overwhelming. Uh, there's so much to include, you just don't know where to start. But if you ask yourself a few key questions, you can boil it down to its essence quite quickly and you have a bit of a roadmap of how to move forward. So I've got a few key points, I'm just going to go through them briefly today for you. Now first of all, number one is ask yourself, why do I want to write this story? Now, it's really important that you frame it that way so you, so you know why, so you have a reference point, okay, a bit of some boundaries. And not only will that help you with your writing, it will motivate you to keep writing. So know why you want to write. Now, they said in this question, why shouldn't you? What shouldn't you, shouldn't you include? And I would say anything that's defamatory, anything that um, brings others down, like, of course, some things are you've got to include to be truthful, but beware if you are publishing a book, I'm not a lawyer, but you don't want to defame people who are living. You don't want to go down that road, it, you know, you could be in some real financial legal strife. So keep that in mind. Don't want to defame. Now the second question I'd be asking is, who are your readers going to be? Now, when we're talking to um, in conversation, we're writing emails at work, at home, we have an audience in mind. We know how to tailor that message to make sure it gets impact with our audience. And it's the same when we're writing our stories or our book. We need to know who we're writing for. It's so good to frame the story that way. You're writing for someone in specific, you know who and what will interest them. So that will give you clues about what to include and what to leave out. So that would be a really good thing to, uh, you know, really good thing to know um, is who you're writing for. The third point I want to bring up is if you're still stuck about what to include and what to leave out, is to remember your theme. Now what's theme? Theme is basically the guiding message that you want to get through to your reader of your, of your book, your memoir. Uh, now, it's like a big signpost. This is the key theme. Everything relates back to the theme. So, it's a good test. Does this story here need to go in or doesn't it go in? Um, if it's, if it's um, included to why you want to write the story, good, that's a good check. Is it interesting to your reader, your who? And then the final check, you can go, it doesn't relate to a theme in my book. If it doesn't, get rid of it. So there, to answer that reader question there, then the three tips, three amazing ways to decide what goes in and what goes out of your autobiography. So just to recap, knowing why you want to write this story, ask yourself who you're writing for, and then three, what's your theme of your book or your themes, um, and whether it will, you know, come under a theme heading or not. So I hope that's given you a lot of clarity about what to leave in and what to leave out of your stories or your, your writings. If you'd like to know more, head over to my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com. I've got a bit more on this topic and there's lots of other things there in the archives about planning to write, uh, tips for new writers, how to polish your writings and then publishing your writings. So check it out. 
There's also, uh, for viewers down below, I'll leave a link to some free training about getting uh, to the heart of your why, of write, what you're writing about, and nunning out your key memories. So there's some training there about uh, getting a, a rough outline of your chapters together. So make sure you check it out, it's completely free. Uh, once you've got your ideas um, down and you know why you're writing, make sure you share them in the comments below. I'd love to know why you're writing your life story. And if you've got a question for Ask Nicola, then please put it down there below or go back to my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com. There's a contact page there and you can send me a message. So thanks for watching. It'd be great if you subscribe and like this video and let anyone else know, friends, families, colleagues, who might be interested in this channel. We can spread the word. So great to have you here and I'll catch you next week for another video. Thanks for watching and happy writing.